everyone, and sorry if I look a little bit familiar. I just got done filming the beauty subscription showdown that you guys saw last week, so I'll make sure to include that down below if you haven't seen it yet. But getting on to a haul that I'm super excited about, I wasn't really too sure if you guys would be interested in this, but I did post it on my Facebook and on my Instagram and stuff, and you guys really, really wanted to see this haul because recently I had somebody from e.l.f. Eyes, Lips, Face, the company, reach out to me, and I was so, so excited because they agreed or they just pretty much offered to send me all of these wonderful products and some of them are new which is super exciting but then also some of them are new colors of products that they already had. So the first thing that I was so excited to see in the box was this 11 piece brush collection. And it does say new on here. I'm not totally like sure on what's like super, super new and what's not, but I was really excited about this. It looks like it has a super nice variety. And that's pretty much what I look for in a brush kit, especially with something like this. You have a nice angled brush, a blush brush. I think my favorite powder brush is right there. And then just some really, really nice looking eye brushes. So this is something that I'm definitely going to be putting to use very, very soon. And I think for the holidays, this would be perfect because I don't know, this just screams a stocking stuffer. Sticking with brushes, I have two more that were in there, the blending brush and then the crease brush. So I definitely think that these two are essentials. They do say new on them. Like I said, I'm not super up to date on like what's super new, what's not, but I was really excited to see these. I don't really have a lot of small eye brushes by them. So I'm super, super excited to give this a try. And then two things that my friend Emily has raved about. I still, trust me, Emily, if you're watching this, I still have this in my phone to get because of you and I just haven't picked it up for whatever reason. So when they reached out to me, they did ask certain things that I wanted and I'm like, I have to try your tone correcting powder because my friend just raved about it. So they did send me both shades and this does say new, but obviously I know that it's not new because she's been using it forever and loves it. So this one, let me see, there's a warm one one, which is this one and it's 83802. And then there's also this one, which is the cool one. And this is 83801. And I think, let's see, it says that it really balances out your complexion, which is exactly what my friend Emily said. And it absorbs excess oil and it just bright brightens and neutralizes if I could get my words out. And yeah, I'm really excited to try these. I'm just kind of confused and you guys can help me out with this because I don't know, do I use this in place of a powder? So yeah, help a girl out and let me know in a comment down below how you guys use this. And even for all of this, this is the main reason I personally wanted to do this video because I want to hear what you guys think of especially these next two lip products coming up because I haven't tried them before. I want to hear your guys' opinions, your re your reviews, and then your favorite colors. So starting with the whole lot of the matte lip colors that they sent me, I'm so excited for these. But a lot of them seem super neutral, so I'm anxious to see if I end up liking the colors. But I believe in a little note they included, they have some other colors that are more seasonal and they're out of stock, but they're going to send those my way as soon as they get them in. So yes, these are the matte lip colors and I'm just going to go ahead and like just rile or what's that saying? I'm going to raffle off the names. I don't know, but the first one I'm seeing is T Rose. I feel like I've heard a little bit about that one. Next is definitely a very, very nude color and this is natural. The next one almost looks like a kind of burnt orange kind of color and this is praline and then there's a almost orangey coral called coral how fitting and then probably my favorite out of this bunch they sent me was rich red i love me a red lip and then last but not least is nearly nude and it's like a super super just like peachy nude color and then, sorry, I think the first one that I told you guys about, ah, there it is, T Rose. I wanted to explain the color, and this is just, it almost seems like a nude with a little bit of a rosy undertone, so that's kind of self-explanatory, T Rose. Yeah, but anyway, I'm really excited to try these, and I am excited because a lot of them are neutral, and that's scary territory for me. Like, I know a lot of you out there are scared of a bold lip. Well, that's exactly how I feel with a nude lip. It just, like, terrifies me sometimes. I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's totally true. So that's why I was like a little bit disappointed because I'm like, shoot, where are all the bright, bold colors? But it really was a blessing in disguise because I don't own a whole lot of matte or nude especially color. 
colors. So having all of these to choose from now is just going to be great. And then they did send me some really fun colors in another formula. Are you ready to see those? So getting on to the fun ones that are totally up my alley. These are their moisturizing lipsticks. And for whatever reason, I've never tried them. And that's why I'm so excited. So the first one is a velvet rope, which just looks like your traditional red. So I'll be breaking this out soon. Keep an eye out on Instagram. Next up is Flirty and Fabulous, which is a very, very cool looking pink. I'm anxious to see if I like this, but please leave me a comment down below telling me about the formula before I try it because I would just love to hear your thoughts. And then there's a nice coral one called Coral Cutie. And then another red, let's compare these because I was thinking about this when I actually opened the box because I have Velvet Rope, which I just told you about, and then Red Carpet. So side by side, I think, think it looks like a velvet rope is just a little bit lighter and a little bit orangier. So maybe red carpet will be just like that traditional, almost dark red. I don't know. We'll have to give it a try. And then last but not least is a nice rosy color called rosy go round. So yeah, you guys can totally tell that these are up my alley and I can't wait to wear them. Yay. So I really hope that this wasn't boring for you guys, but I just really wanted to tell you guys what I got because you'll be probably seeing it a lot, whether it's on Instagram, whether it's in videos, but I'm just so, so thankful that companies like this reach out because I know I'm not like a super big channel, so it makes me feel really, really great and just really, really excited when someone like that reaches out to me. I don't know. It just makes me feel super special and I get to try this stuff for you guys and let you guys know what I think. So it's just like all around the board, I feel like it's a win 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 win. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up and keep an eye out for a lot of elf stuff coming your way, maybe even in tutorials and stuff. So have a great, great day guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.